Podcast City Network. <laughs> And good evening, everyone. You're listening to another episode of the Deathmatch Russell podcast. It's Friday night. My guest is in. My guest tonight is indie pro wrestler Sully Larkin. And we're going to talk to him and see what's going on, how he's been, where he's going to be wrestling, and much, much more. Let's talk wrestling fans. Tune in right now. Sully, you're on the line. Hey, what's up? Hey, man. How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. How you doing tonight? Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Mm hmm. Weather? Enjoying the weather or eh? Eh, it's pretty hot, but eh. Yeah, I know. It's like, what, <laughs> mid 90s something? Almost broke the 100 mark. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm like, ah, come on. You know? Yeah, glad to be inside for, for the day. Yeah, we finally pulled off the pool cover today, so <laughs> after I got out of work, <laughs> you know? So now yeah. we shock it for the kid, you know, for my nieces and nephews when they come over, so. Yeah, they gotta love that. They, oh, yeah, they do. Of course, you know. I don't like, I like swimming too, but I sink. <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a floater. <laughs> you know? Still there? Oh. Yeah. Okay, my, yeah. my thing just disconnected. Hold on. Sorry about <laughs> All right, but yeah, so anyway, man, Sully, so how long have you been in the business now? This is number 15, 15 years, this oh. year's. Oh, man, 15 years. Yeah. And you, uh, of course, you wrestle with um, with KZ, KZW, Kentucky Zone Wrestling. Yep. <clears throat> you know. Been there for, been there off and on. I mean. Yeah. I've been there now for probably a good five years. Mm-hmm. You're going to be there for the, oh, of course, the 12-year anniversary, right? You're going to be there. Oh, yeah. You know, that's going to be, yeah. that's going to be epic. I mean, that's going to be oh, yeah. something I wish I was there for that. Yeah. I wish I could come to all yeah. the shows, you know? I always say, I'm going to yeah. come, I'm going to come, I'm going to come, I'm going to come. I need to get to one of those shows. One of these, I'm going to try to drag myself maybe this summer, if not, next summer, you know? Yeah, you don't want to miss, I mean, we have great I fans, great shows. Great absolutely, shows. absolutely. You guys put it, you know, they, you guys help put a hell of a show on, you know? And it's like, yeah, we, you know, I like the old school, we, uh, I like the old, old, old school feel to it, you know? Yeah, that's us, old school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we throw a little new school in there sometimes too, but yeah, know, we try to mm -hmm. we try to get that new school out there for the for the kids that don't know what the old school is. Yeah, absolutely. They get a little taste of it. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, they need to see what the you know what what it is because <laughs> we grew up on yeah. it. You know, because we grew up on that stuff. You know, like oh yeah, because I'm what forty, I'm forty two. You know, so yeah, I probably seen like wrestling way back in my days, you know, but, you know, yeah. early, early on, WWF, NWA. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, a lot of the kids, don't, they know it from WWE, I know it from like WWF, and yes. the WCW days. WrestleMania to, yeah. <laughs> so like, I was, like, I always say on my podcast every time, you know, I was lucky I got to go to WrestleMania 5 with my father, you know, you know, oh like, man, that's cool. Yeah, or really, like, should, and to see, to sit up in the nosebleeds in Atlantic City, at the uh, Tropicana, you know, at the Tropicana Convention Center or whatever it was, the yeah. Yeah, big, you know, and hearing the thumps of the ring, my God, like it was cool, you know. Oh, yeah. And and I tell how I always tell everybody, and it's really cool because I, I was sitting five rows away from Jesse the Body, and Gorilla Monsoon, you know, oh, doing man. doing the commentary, yeah. And I, yeah. but I have my also have my Mega Powers explode fluorescent sign at the time you know the big hulkamania <laughs> macho man you know so oh, yeah i had to mark out right you know? yeah i love macho man yeah i think macho man you know his career hogan's career you know just the best yeah. the two two great you know rivals of well both together you know but oh yeah great you know, you can't. You know any i think anybody that ever mm -hmm. loved wrestling or been in the business they 
you got to mention, everybody's going to mention Macho Man Hogan, yeah. Warrior, all the mm-hmm. Sting, I mean. Right, right. And I was, you know what, and I think I was lucky enough, that was probably the only time I got to see Owen Hart wrestle as the, remember, as the the um, blue, the blue, uh, what it was, what the hell was his name, the uh, blue guy, you know. Oh, yeah, oh. Uh, any other time, I would know it. Like, yeah, I know, right? Like, like I'm on the spot. Like what? <laughs> yes, yes. Blue Blazer. There you go. Yeah, there that, you go. That's you it. it. That's it. Because I remember Jimmy Hart came out. I think too. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> which was really. That was cool. a great. Yeah. That's something I always remember. I mean, I've never been to none of them, but yeah, I've watched every one of them. I used to watch them with my uncle. My uncle's one got me into wrestling. Mm-hmm. And we we. Didn't miss a WrestleMania, even to this day. We still watch it the Yeah, you can never, yeah, you can never. Uh, <laughs> I remember even go to like a high school gym and watching like the the Hogan versus Bundy in a steel cage on a pay per view, like a big, yeah. you know, a big big uh, projector screen. You know, <laughs> I was like, this is yeah. cool. <laughs> I got to see that at least. You know. Yeah, you don't get you don't get stuff like that no more. I mean. No, no, now it's all digital. Everything's all digital. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It ain't like it used to be. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Not not twenty bucks to go. <laughs> throw it up, throw it on. Well, you go to Blockbuster Video and get the rewind. See, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, oh, I remember getting all the the home videos. They yes, used to do. yes. You go to the video store. I'm begging my mom, come on, just, mm-hmm. just not, I need to watch it. You know. Yeah, I know. My neighbor always had them. I was like, hey, can I borrow that Piper one? Come on, I loved it. You know. Like, yeah, you just That's the way it was back then. Yeah. I used to. Yeah. I don't know what happened to mine. I used to have boxes full of just yeah. I record them once when they were on TV. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I know. I I think I, I well, I still have a, probably like one or two of those left. But I I remember like recording like so hooked on ECW and then or TNA when it oh, started yeah. when the first year of TNA started. You know, I was like, yeah. hey, this is cool. I'm gonna start recording all these seasons. You know, <laughs> yeah. And they're in a box somewhere now. I don't know. But now yeah. it's, it's all DVDs and this and that. <laughs> but I stopped my collection. Yeah. You can't pick it. Too many DVDs nowadays. It's like ridiculous. You know. Yeah. I know what you mean. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. It's merchandise. <laughs> they get you, you know. Yeah, it's, it's like t-shirts. That's why they make the money right there. It's on t- yeah, like t-shirts too, you know. <laughs> yeah, everything's t-shirts and action figures. I posters. know. I know. I know. And it's like, hey, <laughs> what do we have? Yeah. What do we have growing up? with the rubber figures? Remember? <laughs> yeah, there's like. So much more so for kids now than when I was a kid. It was like just a little extra. It didn't even look like, didn't even halfway look like the wrestling. No, no. Like if you look at them from now to yeah. what they got now to back then, it's like totally different. Mm-hmm. I know. And then the Hasbro figures came, are coming back. Those, you know, little miniature ones, you know? Oh, yeah. Those. I remember having a crap load of them. Yeah, yeah. I got the re- Every time my mom or grandma would go to the store, they'd bring me like, they'd always buy me one or two. I'd always go. I would go to the flea market, like you know. I'd go to the flea market and see who has them. You know, like those are yeah, because they're cheap and <laughs> expensive. Like, yeah. you know, like the good yeah, ones. I know what you mean. Like the re- repo man. Like you don't get to see that one. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's like my kid, she, when she gets older, she's gonna have. I know she's gonna be into stuff like that. Cause yeah. She goes to shows now with yeah. me, and mm-hmm. and I know she'll be into the. I'd be getting her action figures every time we go to the store, so it's just going to be like yeah. another generation. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be the new, yeah, you'll be like, wow, but <laughs> go to flea market. I'll be in the floor playing with her with them. Yeah, like, but, I remember when I had this, yeah. and yeah. be looking at it like I'm some old man. I know, but you, but you know what you do? Go to a flea market and just see if they still have like the rubber figure, and then bring it to the show her. She'd be like, "Wow, you know." Yeah, yeah, completely different than what they got now. Yeah, yeah, the the, <laughs> the elite series, this and that. I don't even. Yeah. I don't collect. I collect like the old school ones, you know, like the uh, the Road Warriors to you know, like I like, like oh, the, yeah. the Undertaker and come on, you know. Bruiser, I got, I got, I have the, I have an original from a flea market. I bought the Bruiser Brody doll, you know. Oh wow! Yeah, and, and it, but and it's they're hard to find. Yeah, very, very hard to find. And then I might, might then I saw the counter. I was like looking on the table. This guy had Jesse the Body Ventura, the Army figures. You know what he did? Oh, the wow. Army, yeah. So I bought one of them, and then my my coworker had another one. Of them. I'm like, holy shit! Yeah. Like the same exact figure. <laughs> And I like bought yeah, a big ass poster. They don't make them like they used to. I mean, you no, know. no. Because I remember my grandma. I still got it. It don't work. It was a, an old Sting action figure that like you would push a button on the side and it would like vibrate. Mm-hmm. 
and and say they don't make stuff like that no more. Or like I remember having a stone pole action figure that yeah. I can't remember what they were, but you like put water in them. They like spray water. Yeah. They like sweat. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. Remember the they don't make stuff like that no, no more. No, or the stretchy figures. Remember. <laughs> Oh yeah, God, I mean, the rubber. I, a, I think I had a Hogan one. I had the. I think I had the rubber. Yeah, the Hogan one. I think that was the popular one, really. The Hogan. I was dying. My, yeah. I was always dying to buy a belt until they came out with the real, you know, the originals. You know, after. Yeah. Not now. It's like they're high, high end. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember going to like Walmart or Kmart, and they'd have like the little. Mm-hmm. Like the heavyweight title and the Intercontinental title, like all of them. Yeah. And my cousins would ranch out in the backyard. And, right. We were the champions on Monday Night Raw or Nitro. Or or if, or if we didn't have the money, we'd just cardboard cut out, you know? Yeah, yeah, we did that too. We had all kinds of championships when we had cardboard. <laughs> cardboard, styrofoam, you name it, or whatever the hell. Yeah. Foil, yeah, foil, foil aluminum foil. There you go, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah we had the aluminum foil champion. <laughs> Duct tape. Mom would be wondering where all our foil was going to, and she'd come in the bedroom, she'd find it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah, probably... Beat you with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I got my toughness from with my mom. Yeah. Oh man. So who 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 are your favorites besides Hogan, you know, and Macho Man like we were talking about? Growing up, I mean uh, yeah. Stone Cold was a favorite, mm-hmm. uh, Undertaker, mm-hmm. Sting, Ric Flair of course. I mean yeah. Ric Flair's in everybody's list. Yeah, everybody's I know. Um, uh, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, them were like my. All-time. You know what? If you ever listen to everybody talk on podcasts, Undertaker and Shawn Michaels always mentioned. You know, and that's pretty, yeah, that's pretty, yeah. I know that's every yeah. Everybody I've talked to, like I talk to guys in the locker room and stuff when mm-hmm. I first meet them or young guys coming in, and like, yeah. oh, Shawn Michaels and Undertaker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, they are the ones that uh, <laughs> you know, took the spotlight. And you know? they're they're the great. I they, mean, they are. You can't you know it's like Flair. I mean. To me, you can't be a wrestling fan and say you don't like Flair. It's like, get out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. How can you not like Ric Flair? No, Ric Flair had his time and did it just, just how he was, just in the ring, you know? WCW yeah. to, you know, just the way he was, you know, with the four horsemen, yeah. you know? Arn Anderson, oh, great. all the, you know, all the other guys. I miss watching. I, that's what I should do is just go. I don't do that. I used to watch like every single, you know, like old school WCW yeah. shit. Like just go on. I remember when I first got the network. Yeah. Uh, that's what I watched. So mm-hmm. like, my nephews and stuff, they want to watch like, you know, what's on now. And it's like, no, here's what you got to watch. And I've watched like stuff from the 80s and the 90s, the Attitude Era. Yeah. That's... I remember the, <laughs> was it? I used to watch what, I, well, I got hooked on ECW when that was around, you know, like that was the real launch yeah. for hard. Oh, yeah, I remember when I first seen ECW, I was like, well, I was hooked. I mean, yeah, they, <laughs> I wish I was younger. I wish, you know, I wish I, I wish I was younger and, could, you know, go to those shows all the time, you know, in Philadelphia. Yeah. But that was always like, ugh, man, I'll just wait until it comes out on DVD or, you know, yeah. TV, TV, you know, every night we'd be watching that on Saturday nights or Sunday, you know, the replay, you'd yeah. be watching it. Yeah, I did too. I mean, I loved ECW back. Mm-hmm. Back then. I mean, I'll tell. I like to. I like to tell. I always tell this story to every wrestler or anybody, my friends, and they love the story. How I, I worked in a dollar store, at eighteen years old, right? And this yeah. guy, and this guy comes in, scruffy beard, you know, mustache, yeah. hair greased back. Well, it was ECW star Balls Mahoney. I didn't know who he was. Uh, I didn't know. I did not know anything about ECW. So I called. Yeah. My, you know, I saw. So he's like, hey, kid, you got to check this shit out. You know, talk to me about wrestling a little bit, you know. I was like, I never knew about it. ECW was a, you know, a real, but then after that, we signed, my, signed a piece of paper for me. And then uh, then after that, we, you know, through his career, I, I just uh, was a good friend of his, you know. It was really cool. Oh man, that's pretty cool. I know. I'm look. I'm looking at a steel chair that he signed, like <laughs> like an old chair, <laughs> spray painted. I'll, have to, I'll take a picture of that. You would like, be like, "Wow, this is cool," you know? Yeah, that sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. His days were so. You know, people like him were, and of course, Christopher Chris Candido. You know, those two were. Oh the, yeah. They those two were chemis- right. chemistry in the ring. You know. But yeah, yeah. I mean that's how. I mean, mm. if you got it's. A lot of times it's hard to have good chemistry with guys in the ring. I mean, I've seen that for 15 years. I've done it. Mm-hmm. There's a few guys that I can just step in the ring with, and it's just, mm-hmm. it was just their first time. I mean, it's like me and uh, Crutch, and uh, me and 
cousin Frank, we were that way. First yeah. match. Yeah. It was just gold. Mm-hmm. I yeah, mean, there's a lot of there's not a lot of guys I have that with. I mean, I have great matches with a lot of guys. But there's only certain ones. Mm-hmm. When I see I'm on the card with that guy, it's like, yep, mm-hmm. it's gonna be a five star match for that. It's gonna be a five star. You're gonna get into it with the Rumble. You know, you're gonna get into it with somebody. Oh, yeah. You know, like Rage or uh, <laughs> Jeremy. You know. Yeah. He's, oh yeah, me and Rage, we yeah. we've had matches like that. Anytime we're in a match together, mm-hmm. it's just straight up. I'm gonna be the best. <laughs> yes, yes. He's, he's tough. He's a tough sob. Like like he just likes yeah. you know his character's great. He's kills. He's pretty good on the mic. The promos, I like that. I notice he does. Pretty, yeah. You know, he gets his. He wants to be known. You know, you know all the other guys. Yeah. Like, like that's like Chris Rose. You know. <laughs> yeah. Or, See, my uh, thing always has been is just mm-hmm. I've, I've never been. Big on promos, mm-hmm. like I'll do them. Mm-hmm. But my thing was always watching in the ring. And yeah, scouting, seeing who, scouting out and who you want to see, yeah. you know, who you can think you're going to, you know, match up yeah. with, you know. Which with my character, it kind of goes with it. Too. Yes. I mean, I'm just, I'm not a big talker. Mm-hmm. I just. Yeah, yeah, I, I see that in the, <laughs> in the, you know, when you come to the ring, you know, you just go to business, do your thing, you know. Yeah, that's why it's always, that's why I've always done it for you. Mm-hmm. I mean, when I first got into business, I had to find my, you know, my thing. Yeah. And I tried to be the talker. It just didn't. No, no. It was me. Yeah. And I finally found that right, mm-hmm. right thing for me. And it's worked for, mm-hmm. for a few years. Mm-hmm. You know, then you get the fans that you heckle, you know. You get the bad people. Oh, yeah. You know, the old type, old old grandpa or grandma. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I mean, a lot of the fans love me, but I get that one or two of them yes. and guys. It's like, oh. You can't win them over. No, you can't. No, no, no. no there's, there, there's a few occasions that they're just like. Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. I I love. I, that's just like nowadays. You see that in wrestling. You know, <laughs> you're just like okay. Oh yeah. They just don't give a shit. They'll throw a chair. In. Actually, it's like nuts now. Have you seen like videos like these guys? Fans just get it, get by the ring almost and like get punched out. You know. <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it firsthand before. I mean, yeah. I've even been in the middle of rides for chairs thrown at me, and mm-hmm. it's just that's when you know you're doing your job right and you piss somebody off so bad and they got to throw something at you. Right. Throw the drink at they just paid three dollars for it. Yeah. Right. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, it's like what? Oh, remember that one video? I think it was a TNA star. What? Uh, uh, that. Ty, Tyra, whatever her name is, Valkyrie. Yeah, <laughs> knocked the guy's beer out of his hand. You know. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, well, yeah. When I, I mean, it, it's you gotta have fun with it. You I mean, have to. You, you know, have to. If if you. That's the number one thing. If you're not having fun, mm-hmm. I do. I mean, I've I've had days when like you know life shit, and I'll go yeah get in that be in that locker room and get in that ring, and it's mm-hmm. I'm having fun. It's like forget you know. Yeah, forget I forget all the bad shit that's going on. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I always get. I still feel like a kid when I get in that ring. I mean, <laughs> it's like a childhood dream. <clears throat> yeah, I know. When that music hits, you know, the lights are on you. And it's just, yeah. It's uh, you know, it's it's the mode you get in. And, you know, you just get that mode, and you you're focused. Yeah, you're ready. Me. I mean, yeah. I get that. I go into the outlaw mode, as mm-hmm. I call it, and I'm there. You know, I'm saving every moment in. Yeah, you have to, you know. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, now you look, look at all these attitudes they got in now in the days. Some of these, well, all, they're, all, they're all contracted now. They have to, like, hurry up and, you know, say a promo and go to the ring, you know. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the way it goes usually. I mean, yeah. like, hey, you got three minutes, do this, do that, you know. Yeah. You're like, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or you, or the guy don't, or the guy never shows up. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, we get a lot of that. Yes, I mean, yes, that's always the thing in wrestling. Oh yeah, he missed his flight. Sorry. Yeah. Or, or he, yeah, or, uh, he you know, had to work late. Or yeah, oh yeah. Um, my dog got my dog got killed. Like the same dog the past three three months got killed like three different times. But. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> no, or or my car broke down on the parkway. I had a flat tire. You know, oh, yeah, there's, I've yeah, heard a lot of them. Yes, yes, that's always the local thing in New Jersey. That's always everywhere, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. It's cr- yeah, there's a company I work for. I help the guy out a little bit. Mm-hmm. And we always get them phone calls. For, yeah. Like 10 minutes for the show for bell time. And it's like, oh, I'm going to make it. My car broke down. Or, mm-hmm. Well, you want me to help you out? I mean, we can find it. Nah, man, I'll just make you know. I'll get you next time. Right. All right. <laughs> yeah, or, or even the fan calls, you know, like to the promoter. Uh, 
you know, I'm stuck in traffic here. <laughs> I'll, yeah. be, I'll be to the show. I won't be there. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's the way. There's a lot of times we've heard that. Yeah, yeah. I used to do that all the time. <laughs> I mean, my, that's my thing. I, that's one thing I had to say. I've, mm -hmm. My whole 15 years, mm -hmm. I've, if I've missed a show, it's been... Mm -hmm. Something I couldn't help, like family issues. Yes, or, yeah, family yeah, family business is more important. I'm yeah. there to yeah. sick, not sick. I mean, I've been to shows where mm -hmm. my fiance was like, "You don't need to go, you don't need to go." I'm like, well, I got to be there. I got to give my fans. Yeah, got it. Yeah, I got to. Yeah, if not, and you have a family problem, you, you're sorry, but <laughs> I'm on vacation or something. You know. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm doing stuff. You know. Yeah, I've even canceled vacations. Like, I got a yeah. show this weekend. I can't do it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah, everybody's yeah. time. Time to take that break. You know, you got to take a little break. Deserve it. You know. And you gotta, and you gotta have that dedication to it when you get this business. And there's a lot I see young guys mm -hmm. that just don't. They they see it on TV and like, I hey, I can do that. I can hack it. You know? Yeah. It's all much money not raw. I can do that. And it's like mm -hmm. you don't have that dedication. You just, I see a lot of guys come in and, and go and. They're just, they just can't, can't hang with it. Yeah, yeah. They just think that they're, <laughs> like, I know a lot of these guys. Let's see how long it'll last, you know, like a local wrestler on, you know, they're, he's like uh, Joey Janela. This guy's on AEW, you know? Yeah. And psh, we'll see where he goes from there, you know? Who knows? Yeah. Just. I've seen guys that are like big football players come in and for yeah. like a training session. Mm -hmm. They make it one day and they're like, oh, I can't do it. They don't come back, you know? Mm-hmm. It's but, not for everybody. But but this kid, I'll tell you what, Joey Janela, he runs this game, his show in WrestleMania weekend. It's called uh, Spring Break, jo Joey Janela's yeah. Spring Break. And my God, like, <laughs> they have shows, like, every summer, you know what I mean? And, like, he just, like, everywhere he has, he's there because it's his deal, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's cool. You don't find a lot like that. No, and just to think of it, uh, this kid, you know, used to be like a. Uh, it's pretty. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's actually on Fourth of July. He's gonna do an old gimmick. He's coming back as his as a backyard wrestler. How cool! Oh, is, man, I cool. cannot wait to Fourth. Of, I'm gonna be there for that. It's a Fourth of <laughs> July backyard wrestling. <laughs> yeah, that sounds cool. It really is. I'll take photos. I'll take a foot, videos footage for you. I'll show you. It's pretty cool. You know. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Just some, you know, fit wrestling fans, and just get, you know, we're gonna have fireworks too. So we don't know what's gonna happen with the fireworks. <laughs> yeah, you never know when it comes to fireworks. Yeah, right. Make it blow up. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll stay away from. I'll just hold my beer can and uh, <laughs> just, just, yeah. just hey, okay, All here right. we go. Don't get me in the ring. No. <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm good right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I watch. I'm actually then this weekend. I'm going to go to my friends. My friends that run an underground, you know, like another. Uh, they run like their own hardcore, you know, uh, backyard fit. So I'm going to go check that out. Yeah, go watch them. I cannot wait on Sunday. Yeah. You know.